we will compare and evaluate the two current versions of Ubuntu. On one hand, the 24.04.3 Eltinus version, and on the other hand, version 25.10, both based on Ubuntu. We start by comparing the live boot time. Graphically, they look the same. However, depending on the result, we might see internal changes. In October, the 25.10 version of Lubuntu, called Question Quaka, was released, but this version doesn't have long-term support. It ends in July 2026. Meanwhile, version 24.04, called Noble Numbat, is Eltinus, which means it has support until April 2027. This is the main difference between LTS versions. One of the key changes mentioned is the update of the LXQT desktop environment from version 1.4.0 to version 2.2.0 and the inclusion of Rust girdles. By default, it includes the following packages LXQT, QT, Mozilla Firefox, LibreOffice, VLC, Featherpad, and Discover for software installation. As mentioned, Ubuntu is based on Ubuntu and replaces the GNOME desktop with LXQT. The idea is to create a lightweight and more efficient distribution. Lubuntu's origins date back to 28 when an Ubuntu version with the LXD desktop environment was released, which Lubuntu started using in 29 until version 18. From then on, LXQT has been the default desktop environment. The main significant notable difference is that LXDE uses GTK+, while LXQT uses QT. As seen in the comparison, the boot time of version 24 is much lower than that of version 25, so in this test, we have a clear winner. The difference is significant from 47 seconds to 1 minute and 45 seconds, with version 24 running in about 46% of the time it takes version 25 to boot. Now it's time to compare the boot time after installing Lubuntu. Installation time was not considered as it can vary depending on several factors. For instance, the installation type and the programs each version includes and also updating the system during installation can result in different times. Version 24 will require more package updates than version 25, so it will take longer to download, and this could prevent an objective comparison. As we saw, the boot time of both versions is almost identical, differing by just a few milliseconds, so in this test, both versions are tied. We ran NeoFetch and FastFetch to observe general system data such as name, kernel, desktop environment, installed packages, initial memory, and disk usage. This test is dependent on the machine's memory. Having the kernel and desktop up to date is important, but memory consumption is crucial with limited resources. We ran several commands to contrast the information from NeoFetch and FastFetch, with boot time and installation size being the key metrics. As for boot time, we saw that both versions are tied, but when it comes to installation setup time, version 25 wins by a slight small margin. Now, we used Sysbench for the evaluation, starting with the CPU, observing performance with a single thread and then with five threads, along with mutex tests. The results show that the CPU in version 24 executes 80 more events per second than version 25, and using five threads, it runs 94 more events, making version 24 the winner. We evaluated both memory read and write using a sequential benchmark to measure the system's overall ability to handle large memory operations. The result of this test causes both versions to tie. There's a slight increase, but it's inversely proportional in the other version, which is why they're tied. Then, we prepared the necessary essential files to evaluate disk input and output, and now, we ran the test to determine overall storage performance. In this test, although the difference is slight, it's measured per second, and in both cases, version 24 outperforms version 25 in both read and write operations. We ran top to measure the memory consumed by Firefox with one tab. Then, we opened a second tab and played a video, followed by a third and fourth tab. We calculated the average consumption, the version 24 consumes 338 megabytes, while version 25 uses 328 megabytes. Therefore, version 25 wins this test. In conclusion, both versions are very lightweight and suitable for both old and new hardware thanks to the kernel. The results favor version 24. If we scale and normalize data from over 20 distributions, we get a score of 75 out of 100 for version 24 and 72 for version 25. That's all for this video. We will continue with more comparisons. If you liked the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and activate the notification bell. See you next time.